Hey there, friends, and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathbun Sutton. Today is April 20th, and the title of our devotional is God Still Answers a Mother's Prayers, written by Janice R. McKinney. The Bible verse is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24. I will answer them before they even call to me. While they are still talking about their needs, I will go ahead and answer their prayers. Janice writes, Being a single mother is a wonderful blessing that can seem daunting, unnerving, intimidating, and scary. Being a single mother of two African-American young men increases your joy and gives new definition to taking it to the Lord in prayer. On the one hand, we can debate whether or not African-American males have a harder time in life than others, or whether they are more prone to police brutality, or whether some of their teachers tend to overlook their strength and label them too often. On the other hand, we can agree that no matter what social ills they suffer, they are included as children of God. When my Midwest raised son indicated he wanted to move to the fast-paced East Coast and told me he would be seeking housing from Craigslist, a classified advertising website, alarm bells began ringing. He's not ready. He has no street knowledge. He doesn't have a job, never mind a college education or career. Does he have any marketable skills to take care of himself? His being 22 with only two years of college under his belt, I knew I had to let go, but I didn't have to get off of my knees. On August 1st, 2017, I cried. My child had called and indicated he was homeless and needed my help. I secured him a place to stay, stressing that he would need to either come home or find himself a place he could afford because I couldn't sustain two households to keep him off the streets. As audibly as one hears a song playing, the Holy Spirit said, Look on Craigslist right now. I called the first listing that appeared. That call secured a place that even excited my son. Here's the text message from my son's new landlord. God really guides our steps. We must be obedient. My husband has been asking me to post the ad for about a week, and I decided to wait until today. I was reassured no matter the situation, the ills we face, the problems due to our uniqueness, not the strikes that are placed against us, God is still on the throne. He is answering prayers, looking out for his children, and even blessing a single mother who has been entrusted with a great responsibility that can only be accomplished by having the Lord on my side. Janice R. McKinney, born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, United States of America, currently lives in Lee's Summit, Missouri, and works as a database analyst for an insurance company. She is the single mother of two wonderful boys, Brandon and Tyler. Her primary goal and desire is that she and her sons be ready when Jesus comes. She is a graduate of the Great Pine Forge Academy and holds bachelor's degrees in mathematics and chemistry from the mighty Oakwood University. There is nothing that God loves to hear more than a fervent prayer of a mother to her child. He may already know what you need or what you're struggling with, but he wants you to verbalize it. He wants you to give that burden, that prayer up to him and let him do his work. God has blessed us with the ability of being not only women, but being mothers for those of you out there who are. And that is the greatest blessing in the world. Don't take it for granted. I hope that you guys are blessed. You enjoyed today's devotional and I will see you again tomorrow.